Today, I have a very special adventure. Today, I'm going, well, let me show you. So for some reason, I decided I wanna visit all of the United States American presidential libraries. And there's one of them that is at the Texas A&M University. So I drove here all morning to go here to the library. This is the George Bush Library and Museum here on the campus of Texas A&M University. We're gonna go inside. You have to go through security screening to do your bags, but I'm gonna start at the movie. Now we're gonna watch the orientation movie that's gonna show us about the museum. I recommend starting at the introductory video. It shows you about the president's history and their life. They're usually about 10 minutes long. They present it in the most rose-colored glasses way ever. Afterwards, you enter the museum. I like to look at an idea of the floor plan. If you've seen my other videos, I like to know the floor plan to walk through the space. And then you start to explore. This one had a lot of things about World War II, but my favorite. Hello, and welcome to the Oval Office. So all the presidential libraries have a replica of the Oval Office. And at many of them, you get to sit down. This one, they really welcome you to sit down behind the desk and come up here, I'll show a little bit. So this is, I think, the secure phone, or there was another secure phone in one of the drawers. I don't know what we can open. Uh, that's his baseball mitt. This is like the actual phone, so wow. Look, I'm making a call like to Gorbachev, maybe. Um, and then there's other things like the timepiece, but it's pretty neat. All of the presidential libraries have this recreation of the Oval Office. This is one of the smaller ones that I've seen. They have many of his personal family photographs. It does feel like a very intimate experience being inside of the Oval Office. It's cool. Here at the George H. Bush Presidential Library, there are different areas. So one that's over here is showing him at the United Nations when he was in charge of the United Nations. Over here shows when he was a diplomat over in China. So this represents that. At all of these presidential libraries, they talk about the different eras that the presidents go through. So it's a mini museum, truly, and I think most people think it's a library, but it's really a lot more like a museum of that president's life. Something else many of the museums have is this behind the scenes of videos you can't see anywhere else. And here's one of George Bush riffing with Dana Carvey from Saturday Night Live, wanting him to do a better version of his interpretation. You can't find this footage anywhere else. You have to look around, but it was, it was tucked away in a little room. This is the Situation Room, and the Situation Room is a recreation of the room that they make these important decisions. It was pretty neat. It's cool to see these things. The Gifts of State is also a very, very good thing. These are the gifts that the presidents get from various countries and wealthy individuals. All the museums have this as well. Now we're walking through a thing about the war in Iraq. And there's a lot of things about it here. Behind me, there's a tank somewhere and many flags of all the people that were a part of the coalition for that. Here's the huge tank. Okay. There's personal touches as well. This was his dog. And it's a little tribute to the dog. It, it is very cute and personal. Well, that's it. I, I saw my next presidential museum. I really enjoyed it. It was a neat place. It's huge. This is perhaps, I'll say something afterwards. Hold on. So what I was gonna say is that's the most empty presidential museum I think I've ever been to. They were waiting for us to start the video, which was really nice because we were running a few minutes late. And th th I think there were more staff than there were visitors, but still cool. I would actually go back to go and spend a little more time there. I would actually go back, which is shocking. It was cool. Hello, now I'm at lunch and I've gotten some pork sisig, which is here. And this is a traditional Filipino dish of pork cut up with an egg that I'm gonna mix up. This is pad kimao, that's very spicy. I also got two Thai soups because I didn't know which one to get, so I got both of them. And then there's rice. I think we have one other dish, but now I'm gonna have lunch and then drive back home. I'm driving home, but I need to charge up my battery, so I stopped at the supercharger. 
This is what a supercharger looks like. If you've never done a Tesla or you don't know, I'm like a Tesla stand, so I'll just tell you. Wait a second, the light is so bad. Um, here's, here's why it works, here's why it's special. So the supercharger, I can charge this thing to keep going in about five minutes. Five minutes is about as long as I need to continue my trip. Now, if you were with a regular electric vehicle, it could take you hours to charge. And that's the nice thing about these fast chargers and the supercharger network. It's so easy. Anyhow, I'm also right here by Bucky's. Do you guys know Bucky's? Wait, Bucky's is amazing. This is Bucky's, and Bucky's is an institution. Their logo is so funny. Everybody knows their logo, this little beaver guy. Usually I wouldn't go inside, I'd just supercharge real quick. But since I've been trying to do these videos, I'm gonna take you inside. I wanna say thank you for watching me filming. Bucky's is an institution. I wanna say thank you for watching me filming because I'm experimenting with making these vlogs. I, I go in and out of phase of doing them, but I realize how much I love to watch them later. So anyhow, this is Bucky's. Can you see this big logo here? And let me take you inside. Inside to Bucky's. Now what's special about Bucky's is it's an enormous gas station that has so many food and drinks and all these options of things that are for sale. Can you see how big it is? They're also very famous for their jerky. I actually made a video about the jerky here at Bucky's. They have some very good tacos and they have other meats and they just have everything. Look all around here, there's so many. This is like the biggest, look how big it is. Let me extend this. Look how big it is. It's enormous and this is a gas station that people come to and in Texas at least it is so famous. People love it. The food is actually pretty good as well. My car is done charging. It only took five minutes. So let's go back and finish the drive home. All right, here's how you stop the charging. I'm going to take this, unplug it. That'll close automatically. And then now I'm going to get back in the car and we'll see. Charging, I have enough to continue and I'm up to 48% on my charge. So that's good. I'm ready to go home and let's go. All right, I'm back at my place. And now I got a rally. I got a rally because I'm going to something next. Going to a movie premiere, sort of. Not sponsored, but I got this bone broth at Costco and I'm trying it. I like it. I'm putting it in the microwave. It comes out super thick, real thicky thick, like gelatin. I'll show you next episode how thick it is. But in the microwave, then it's just gonna look like this because I heated it up a little bit and I'm gonna sip it. Now I used to buy this bone broth from Costco, but let me just tell you, compared to this one, like this is the good one. This is the, go I don't like this one. This is not as good. Next, I was invited to a private screening of a new Amazon show coming out. We got free popcorn and donuts. It was cool. Okay, hello. Wow, this light is harsh. I saw that movie. I finished the movie. I changed my outfit before the movie. And I had a nice day. Today was an action-packed day. I wasn't on the computer too much, except all morning I forgot to film when I was working on videos. Anyhow, thank you for watching A Day in My Life. The TV show, by the way, was interesting. I don't really watch TV shows. I watch so much YouTube now. It was so weird to watch that. But I'm thankful for the company that invited me to come out. I want to go to more of their events as an influencer. And the presidential library was okay. I'd rate it a six out of 10 of all the libraries I've seen. I've seen four so far. Okay, that's it for now. Good night, I'll see you next time, bye.